All right. <clears throat> um, so we're gonna tear this guy down. Um, this is my red epic mysterious M. Or excuse me. Wow, I've already screwed this up. <laughs> red epic X mysterious mysterium. Fuck. Mysterium X. Fuck this. Let's just take this fucker apart. Okay, so first things first. Uh, this is the easiest thing is to start on this side. Um, you're going to need a couple different screwdrivers. Or, well, I guess not screwdrivers, um, but I guess, yes, screwdrivers. Um, I'm not sure if the Torx is supposed to be involved in this, but I've got definitely both a Torx or two different types of Torx wrenches, one with a little bit more gusto, I don't know, you'll see. Um, at any rate, this is a T6, excuse me, this one's a T8, and this is what you'll need for the outside. Um, <clears throat> all of these big screws are pretty easily done. Um, <clears throat> And I've taken this apart before, I guess, uh, truth be told. Uh, first of all, I wanted to make sure that I knew what I was doing before I started recording this. Second, um, yeah, I, I had to do two things on this specific red camera. I'm actually shooting on a red camera right there. Um, uh, what I had to do for both of these cameras is um, replace the internal battery, which I've heard from, or well, I guess not heard, I've read on like reduser.net is like a 600 or $700 job from Red itself. And they don't even seem to um, offer that for these actually anymore because they're discontinued. They're no longer um, being supported by Red. Um, as you can see, I've kind of torn my my tape off, uh, made it less sticky. Um, next, you'll have 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah, um, of these screws that are, da, 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 I think it's T5 or T6, T6. Um, <clears throat> these ones you don't need to really keep in any particular order. Um, I did when I first took them apart, took this uh, particular camera apart um, because uh, I am, when I take things apart for the first time, I'm just, I want to put everything back exactly the same way that I found it. Um, but I found that these are all the same size and length, um, or diameter and length, um, so uh, no big deal there. But I will probably fast forward through this just so that you don't have to suffer watching all this. But I'm obviously going to go a lot faster than um, um, I did the first time. The first time I was taking this like hella slow because I had no idea what was going on. This metal plate is, um, <clears throat> let's see, I don't know, not terribly heavy, but clearly they're using it as some kind of shield. I didn't have very much to go on. Um, the FCC did a teardown of these a number of years ago when they first came out. Uh, I think this would have been like 2011 or 2012, maybe, that the FCC thing came out. Um, and at any rate, <clears throat> I just sort of had to like... Um, figure it out from one other Australian um, uh, cinematographer, I guess is what I, I'll call him. Um, I can't remember his name right now, but I'll definitely put that in the um, 
description of um, this video because he certainly helped. Um, he was the one who put a definitive, I guess, video of replacing the battery um, for the Epic um, Dragon and Epic MX and uh, Epic X, I guess. Um, just so everybody knows, I kind of did this while I was talking. Uh, there are two ribbon cables and two power connectors uh, that I've disconnected here. Um, I don't exactly, to be perfectly honest, know what their purpose is. Um, let's see, this one says LSB side, and this one also says LSB side. So, you know, I would imagine it has to do with taking in data for the SSD or transferring data to the SSD. Um, but at any rate, we'll just forge on. Um, there are three screws holding down this board, and there are also two cables underneath this board. One is right here underneath this side for the front fan, and then there is this orange um, ribbon cable right here that's protruding <clears throat> that connects via um, a, like a, a ribbon block connector like that um, underneath, and you'll see that when I turn it over. Um, I'll just get rid of these. These are T8 screws, and they are also all the same length and diameter, um, so I just kind of have grouped them together on a, we're going to call this the left side of um, the unit of the camera. Um, but this one was a little bit tricky to get out. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use like plastic wedgers, and I really should have one, but I just don't because I'm a lazy, lazy guy. I'm also really trying to work work on not swearing on these, because uh, I swear a lot, and um, I'd like I'd like everybody to be able to use this and be accessible for everyone. <clears throat> so at any rate, what I just did was underneath the bottom side of um, this here board um, from the bottom of the camera itself, I kind of lifted up under it to free it from this very clever um, double-sided connector on the board that allows it to have a, a connector that protrudes up from the, the bottom and, and uh, go through. And you'll see, you probably can't see from any angle here, but maybe like if I did, I don't think I can see from that far. Um, like here, you'll be able to see that connector already unconnected, but there's a ribbon right here that um, <clears throat> connects to the bottom of this red board right here. And uh, that red board is where the actual ben uh, internal battery is connected. I'm just going to disconnect this so I don't wing it around. I'm trying to be all like, come on you. There we go. At any rate, the um, internal battery is right here underneath this really clever little piece of yellow cellophane tape. Um, and it takes um, the 2025s, but I've managed to stick 2032s in here. And the only difference between those three volt batteries is, um, uh, what do you call it, thickness, um, and the, I think the 2025s are 0 0.05 millimeters or 0.5 millimeters, and then um, the two, uh, 2032s are 0.7 or, or 0 0.07 millimeters. I can't quite remember what that number is, but at any rate, you can, if you care, <laughs> if anybody even watches this. Um, Okay, at any rate, here we are um, with our first plate, off, or excuse me, our first PCB board off, um, and that would be the left hand side for the um, uh, red band module. Um, so we'll just keep on going. Uh, right now is kind of, I think, where I will turn around to the other side and take that off. Um, 
because then I will eventually use the T8 again to um, take off these big guys at corners. And I think this is actually more like a T9, T11, T9, T10, because um, uh, there's a lot of play in uh, 15. That's huge. Um, there was a lot of play in that. I don't, I don't really like that. <clears throat> Yeah, 10 seems to be what these big black, uh, the four corners of the unit are um, in terms of torques or hex. I think I, I might be butchering using tools, but they seem to be working for me for right now. But we'll do that um, in just a moment. I'll get the other side off. Um, let's just make sure we tuck these little cables in so I don't like slay them. When I turn it over, there we go. Okay. Also to fix the back wedge of this guy, he, the there are three screws that hold this guy on, and they're just like screwed into the back of the wedge, and it's just held from the inside. But you have to take the whole darn thing apart to get there. But they were almost three quarters of the way off, and. Um, I was really, you know, I, I was surprised when I saw them just how far off they were, but I could tell just by how much play it was, like, giving me that, you know, I really needed to get in there and um, fix it, and obviously, you know, uh, none of you would know me unless you do know me, but I have grown up taking computers apart my whole life, and I'm 32. So I was looking at this with Red saying, ah, we, we're not gonna be able to support it, and I said, oh man. This is perfect. This is before I even bought the red. I was like, this is perfect. I'll be able to service it myself because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of online support. Like, I'm sure shitloads of people have taken them apart by now. And I looked and I'm, you know, obviously if you were owning a red, you're like, oh Jesus, yeah, he probably realized real quick that there's absolutely fucking nothing out there for it. Um, except for those people who are gully enough to actually take them apart. And generally, if you have, you probably are you're not really willing to give up that information too, um, too readily. Um, so, to take this uh, last plate off, I'm just going to make sure that all of these are loose. Um, there is three, there are, excuse me, there are three other screws. One right here that is a T8, and then two right here, which are the T10s. Um, so I will just... And I'll put that T8 right there and uh, quickly get this T10 off and then this one too. And I can gently lift this whole plate off. Oopsies. And I'll stick this guy back in here. Just kind of let it all hang loose. I'll dump that guy back on there. And there is our right hand side off. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 again. Um, screws. I think I got that right. Did I get that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, yeah. Man, sometimes I think I'm going crazy. Um, so you probably can't see that, but this is double-sided, not double-sided, but, um, it's tape, it's like security tape, so the red kind of like peels off so that they'll know. I'm sure with, um, oh, this is the T8. I'm sure that with, uh, the newer reds, you know, if you were going to take those apart, which, I mean, I've watched a bunch of Linus tech tips, I don't know if anybody watches that, but he's taken his, uh, Monstro 8K apart. Um, they water cooled it like a bunch of goons, um, but you know there's just no information on taking these apart. And I might be rambling, but at any rate, we'll get through these 16 screws.
Okay. Whole thing should come up pretty easy. Not, not much to that one. Hmm. Okay, underneath here we've got our um, f first board. Um, it's got two connections on top, ribbon connections, and I believe it has. Uh, I might have one on the bottom, if I remember. But at any rate, um, I also think it has one, two, three, four um, uh, T8 screws as well. They are they are different in uh, in terms of um, size or diameter. But one specifically, I noticed the one right here that I just took out has a what seems to be like a um, a paper or a non-conductive um, what you would call like a shielding or um, uh, washer uh, as opposed to the other three which have metal washers um, and are actually on metal contacts, gold contacts, whereas this one does not have a metal contact around it. So. I made sure that I put that one specifically back where it was, and I would suggest, just for safety's sake of your investment, you do the same. Um, I am nobody to tell anybody else what to do with their tech, because I mean, you know, I grew up modding stuff, and that was fun, and you know, when somebody said, hey, this is the way you have to do it, I was like, wait, there could be a better way. And if there's a better way, then shoot. But at any rate, we'll pull these guys off. Um, so that's one ribbon cable that obviously quite big, and that uh, uh, required just a bit of force, but I would be careful considering the amount of transistors that are on the top of this board, um, just how much prying force you use. Um, so, now that I have those two off, uh, I'm going to, as I recall, I think there is something under, oh, you know what it is? Um, it also is connected to the board underneath via a, um, what you would call a, like a push down connector. So we'll just do a tiny bit of, I don't want to use the word prying, but that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, but be very gentle on the other side of this here board uh, because you do not want to hurt any of the components underneath as I just torque that shit just a tiny bit. Come on you. Man, I really pushed it down. There we go. So that was where the connector was, and here on the board is where that connector is that goes down into it. But I was wrong, there is no ribbon connector underneath, so you're pretty safe on that front. <laughs> okay, that was a little stressful. I had forgotten just how tight that sticks in there. Um, okay, from here, We've got a couple different things, and I probably should have wired this differently when I put it back together last time. Um, but you'll notice that um, at this point, I guess we can start taking apart the rest of the parts of this so that you can see it totally kind of broken down and, um, you know, just at its most raw form. I guess that's kind of what I it said in the description, teardown. So these two big connectors, ribbon connectors, again, like just about every flipping thing else in here, I don't know what they do. Um, and you can probably read them yourself um, if you actually get this far. But this one says ISP side. Um, I'll also put the link to the FCC teardown. But it honestly is just pictures that almost detail what I've done here. But then again, don't really because uh, they just kind of say this is what this part is, this is what this part is, here is this part, and it's uh, it's just it's more of an inventory manifest of what Red has done just to make sure that it's all like FCC compliant I guess. Um, at any rate, 
I'm sure people will correct me if anybody watches this. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna take that. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a Wi-Fi antenna. I'm really curious now as to what you know I can actually do with this Wi-Fi antenna. But at any rate, it's this white guy. It sits there, um, and I'll just keep it out of the way until you'll see in just a moment where it comes out. Um, and that's what I meant by we'll start to take apart more of this um, this camera um, other than these sides. Um, so this is another, I guess these are ribbon connections with um, pretty hardcore uh, connectors. So they, they require just a little bit of light force prying to get them off. But otherwise they are very simple to get off. Um, this guy probably can come off. What does this one say? Wireless side. Ooh, okay. That's right. Wireless. Okay, so now, oops. Now, I'm going to start taking apart the um, rest of the body. Uh, we're back to the T8 screw head. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, all the inside for the first panel were T6s, and then obviously the T8s were the big four screws in there. I'm going to take off the top fan cover, even though I guess you probably don't really need to so much, but again, tear down, tear down, tear down. Um. Don't be a dingus, don't be a dingus. All right, so this is a cage that actually didn't come with this camera when I bought it. Um, and I bought it online, and I think it was probably one of the better, like, little investments just to make the camera whole again. Um, this, I think, is the connector for the red um, 2.0 fan upgrade kit, which I, you know, I would love to have found, but you just can't find those anymore um, unless they come on a camera. Um, this connector right back here. Uh, as well, this is the top for that Wi-Fi antenna bit, um, and I'll just obviously do that over there. Um, at this point, to get that kind of Wi-Fi antenna -y bit out, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> go back to this big T10 and undo all of these guys Oopsies. Here is our left hand side, though they're all the same, so I doubt it actually matters if they go back into the same exact spots. But, you know, when I first did it, I definitely made sure every screw went back into every last spot that it came out of. And I'm sure the person that I bought all these, I bought my cameras used, I bought almost every camera I owned used. Um, Actually, pretty much every camera I own use. Um, at any rate, I'm fairly certain that the person who owned this before did not ever take this apart. Because I cleaned it when I first took it apart. Um, yesterday. <laughs> okay, at this point... I believe I should be... Oh! That's right. Um, we've got these tiny little... screwlets in there, which I just don't know what those do, but I also don't think that they have anything to do with keeping this connected. Okay, here we go. There we go. Did anybody see that? So this guy kind of came apart like this, and here's the top. 
Um, yeah, that was actually, I don't know why it was giving me such trouble. And we should be able to get the bottom to do almost the same. Separate, um, and we got to do it a little carefully. There it goes. Okay. So now the trouble is um, almost got this bottom piece off. Okay, so you can separate the two. Sorry, that wasn't that wasn't too clear. But you, you kind of have to jiggle this guy apart and separate these two halves. But you need to be careful because they are connected by four ribbon connectors that connect right here. Um, and these four, um, or right here, these four. And they are underneath this like bar that is basically seemingly there to make sure that it doesn't get, you know, accidentally undone. So what I need to do is, what is that, is T8. And since having done this before, I know that the bottom one is wrenched on. So I'm going to loosen this guy just a little bit. Oops, I tightened it because I'm a dingus. I'm going to loosen him just a tiny bit, but he's going to stay on there for our down sake but I'm sure he comes off but this this other screw right here is what you'll use to kind of manipulate that guy off oops he's not finger fingerable yet um, but he'll come off and that's where you can swing this guy out and gently just pry these guys off one at a time oops yeah. And at this point, you should be completely halved. Um, obviously, the back is still connected right here. What's that over here? But now, you've got two halves of a, of a hole. Oops, here comes this guy. So I was able to take out that. Um, uh, ooh, I didn't notice that the first time. I guess I kept it a little bit um, tight enough the last time I took it apart uh, that this bar actually stayed um, in, in place when I swung it out, but it's nicer to be able to take it out because it's flipping annoying um, from here on in. And you can even actually undo, ooh, that's, whoa, that's mad interesting. Okay. Um, so what was interesting is this screw here uh, is actually a screw within a screw um, yeah, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's like a hex screw within a screwable bit which a nut screws down on top of. Um, and the nut obviously secures the bar. So we'll keep that right here next to the other guy. And he had a uh, felt or whatever you want to call it, paper non-conductive um, bit uh, uh, washer. Okay, so here's the back. Um, I don't know what you would want me to attack first, but I gotta run over film. So, pause. Okay, uh, I will address in editing what just happened there, but I, I effed up and didn't record from this camera right here. Um, and that sucks the big one. But we're just gonna forge on and I'll figure out if I can salvage all that and you know make this whole thing still work. Um, I am pretty smart. I'm sure I can figure something out. Um, okay, so um, oh now I see what that thing is doing I think. I think keeping that in there maybe? Nope, I don't know what the frig the 
that's for. All right, at any rate, um, there are these these silvery screws that I took out last time, and they literally just, I don't know what purpose they serve. There's one here, one here, one here, and one somewhere else. I don't know. At any rate, um, I swear to God, there's four. Is one on here? Yeah, one's on here. Like, what the hell? It's not even... It's not even doing anything. Like, maybe it's to position the side panels? I don't know. At any rate, <clears throat> we're going to start with the... This is the back. We're going to start with the back. Um, so, pretty standard looking stuff I guess I don't know what that means when I say that so I'm sorry that I just said that but I did so we're just gonna keep it moving um, to get this guy off and I don't know what the hell this board is um, another T8 um, two different T8 or two T8 um, screws I'm pretty sure the same length and um, diameter but they are, they are across from those two anchoring screws, the silvery big jobs that we just took off like a few minutes ago. Again, I will have to address in editing what the hell I'm missing because this one camera did not go as I wanted it to. Um, from what I've seen from the FCC, this is uh, actually where we start to see some putty and stuff for chips. Thermal grease, and oh yeah, wow, look at that. That is just rock solid on there. Oh my goodness. Well, so we do have a bunch of what look like memory RAM chips. Ooh. I'm really excited to put different thermal paste on here. Maybe? Maybe I won't. At any rate, here is that looks like a main board. And, um, alright, we have four, three anchor screws underneath there for the um, heat sink. Um, and that is anchored onto the back by these four screws. Oops. Grab this putty, thermal putty, and put it over there. Um, all right. Eight minutes, good deal. So these four screws on the back here, T8s, um, are I think the what are anchoring on that um, uh, heat sink right there um, for that main board. And these four are all the same size and length, but specific to the back, so I would, you know, group them accordingly. Um, and this guy now should, yep, come loose pretty easily. Um, you might have to do a little bit of jiggling. I noticed that um, because of the fact that he was attached to something, and I can't quite remember what, and I'll have to double check all of that. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna put that where it was. Um, oh, yeah, I don't think there was anything else holding it on, and I should be able to just yep get him out like so. And so what's holding him on, and that's all because there is a thermal pasty bit right there. Oopsies, right there. <clears throat> um, for a chip right here. Um, on this here PC board. Um, now I'm going to disconnect the where the flip is my thing. The um, what looks like the power cable connector and the SDI output um, from this back main board. Oopsies. 
<laughs> I'm saying that a lot. Um, <clears throat> it's also got a power connector. So that main board connected to this bottom board via this here white connector and that ribbon cable. Um, and this is where you get to the screws, which are, I believe, T8s or T10s, maybe T10s. No, nope, T8s. Um, for that back triangle wedge, whatever you want to call it, V-mount, um, there are three. And that's how I tighten that to fix that guy. Um, all right. <clears throat> now that that's kind of off to the side. Let's go through this bad boy. Ooh, this is just going to be a lot of taking apart. Dang. I'm just not sure what to take off next. Um, Alright, I guess we can go with the whatever board this is that I don't know. Um, looks like it also has 3T8. Yes, it does. 3T8. Ooh, that's right, with these orange, like, orange cellophane paper, um, uh, what do you call those? Washers. <clears throat> uh, probably for, you know, connectivity. some thermally stuff for the what looks like power um, power dinghies what do you call those capacitors um, yeah because I am a smart tech guy at any rate we're gonna move on I guess I can take off the Wi-Fi bit you know shoot why not um, but that's Probably the only other thing other than actually starting to attack the back of the board. Or back of the heatsink. Um, these are T6 screws. There are three of them as I count. They do not have any washers. But they all similarly seem to be of similar length and diameter. Da 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 da. And, wow, this guy seems like he'll see double-sided tape on? Like, how are you? Oh, shit. Yeah, literally. Wow, that's exactly right. It is some double-sided tape. Um, cool. Uh, I guess I'll just kind of try and not gum that up. Um, all right, so now we've got this massive heatsink that is just a solid block of like metal that evidently is used for a number of different cooling parts within this. That was very, very scientific of sorts. These two other boards, all right. I realize now and I don't have a tool that I need. Um, and that tool is a tiny little wrenchy do. Um, little uh, crescent wrench or something like that, I guess it's called. I don't know. For the back. Um, so we're going to pause it right now. And uh, okay. So um, I couldn't find my hex thing, but I'm going to use this guy right here. Um, sorry, I might have gotten a little ahead of myself before I turn the cameras back on. Um, and I had to plug stuff back in. Um, okay, so we remove these two ribbons right here, um, one of which we will have to remember to keep on there because it's not attached to anything else. So actually, I'm going to put that back on um, <laughs> because I don't want to lose it as a placeholder. 
Um, then there are these two guys on the opposite side. Uh, and we're just going to gently get those guys off. They look like they connect underneath. Okay. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to gently unscrew these guys. Uh, they are not that tight. Um, so you should not have very much of a problem. Um, don't be a goof like I was and almost um, tear off that capacitor or whatever it is, that transistor, whatever the hell it is. Um, because then you're going to have a bad time. Uh, did I get this guy? Okay, now, okay, there are four washers. Good of them to tell me that. Oh, shit. Okay, let's get the other ones off. Oh, and they're like little groovy grooves so that they, oh, shit. On those front guys. Okay, um, and he should slide right off. There is no um, connector underneath him connecting these two boards. They are connected via these other connectors. Um, and this backboard obviously connects to the sideboard. That's interesting. Um, oops. And like so. At any rate, now we've got this other main board right here with uh, four more washers. Um, and what looks like the same screwly bops right here. So, very carefully, we're just going to turn these guys. Um, Ah, and that will literally just unscrew that whole screw. That's a pretty dangled, easy bit right there. I can't believe I just said dangled. Um, okay, those two screws hold on this... Oops, these four, excuse me, screws hold on this gigantic black, back, black bracket. Um, which clearly protects the ribbon cables underneath, so they don't come loose. Uh, how do I do it on time? Eight minutes, man, I'm really good at hitting that eight minute. Okay, so yeah, he is just literally a metal bracket of some type of nameless metal. Um, and here, we're down to the last, literally the last piece of the back. Um, this is the last PC board, and I would imagine that there are some chips on the back of this guy. Yes, there are, and I flipped it off. My goodness. Well, at least he's, you know, entertaining, they'll probably say, because he throws his shit around. Um, but you'll probably want to pry that off a little bit less chaotically than I did, you know? <laughs> I think I have that in 60 frames a second, so I should be able to make that funny. Uh, at least in some way. To me, maybe. Um, at any rate, yeah, last board. Chunk of metal. Holy shit. Um, but that's the back. Oh, where did this guy come from? Oh, that's right. He's uh, right now. Come on. Come on, kitty kitty. There we go. Okay, cool. Now I feel a lot better about that. All right, so that's that. That's the back. Look at all these fucking boards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boards they got on the back. And now they've got eight, nine, ten here in the front. Okay. Well, great success.
on the back and our washers. I'm going to collect these and put them by where they go on this guy. Okay. So, wow. Here we are on the second half of this wonderful ride of the teardown of this MX. Is that, yeah, that's gotta be. Is it? Yeah. So, um, let's see, six minutes. I guess I can pour it down a little bit longer. Um, I guess we could take this back part, this bottom part off, but let's start by taking some of this bullshit on the front off. Um, we're gonna need our T8 screw, um, thing I had, actually that might be a 10. I've just been getting away with using an 8, have I? Really? Is that what I've been doing? It is. It is a 10. I'm a dingus. That's funny. Okay, this is the um, this is the fan head front grill thing. Um, here's the fan. The fan's already been disconnected from the uh, from the first part of this exercise here, so we can kind of just get rid of that, and he just has an open gaping hole. Um, I'm gonna leave this on for the cover for the sensor, just uh, cause you know why not. Um, but that should allow me to get this guy off here, I think, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not, not yet, at least. Um, okay, that looks like a T8 screw. It is. Uh, admittedly, I did not get this far with uh, my first teardown. And I don't mean first teardown, I just mean oopsies. I just mean when I tore this down to the back the other day. So, it seems to me. Exactly. I should just be able to pry those two apart. Oh, never mind. Those are um, connectors. Okay, that came off real easy. It's two connectors on either side. Um, yeah, that was just very strange at first. Okay, but we're getting into the three minute mark on uh, the red, so let's just take a quick break. <coughs> okay, so. Um, here we are at the front. We took off the last front piece, which is this guy right now. He had one single screw that went into that piping for the sensor, which frankly I don't really want to take off because I use this camera and I don't need to tear it down that much further. Do I? Do I? Would everybody be pissed and the proverbial everybody being the f nobody that's going to watch this? Because, um, yeah, I just don't see a particularly good reason to tear the rest of this thing any farther down. 